So in front of us li lies a piece of Haarlem while yep. we're in Copenhagen. Yeah, quite can special. Yeah, can you tell us what this is? Yeah. Well, I took it in my uh, in my suitcase, and uh, normal Haarlem is not fitting in a suitcase. Um, this is a part of a, a project where um, uh, I will uh, have a keynote uh, later about. It's called uh, crowdsourced uh, co-creation uh, uh, 3D printing. And uh, we started with this project a year ago. Uh, we got a request from the municipality, from the urban architect, uh, to think about a model of Haarlem and uh, to, to print it. Uh, I'm representing a company called Assembled and we are in 3D printing. We are not in home printing, we are not selling printers, but we are uh, setting up uh, the 3D makers zone in Haarlem where we want to create a print farm with scanners for the upper market in, 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 uh, in enterprises in our environment. And you're not printing yourself? Um, no, we are not printing ourselves. That's also quite special because if you want to print things like this with the printers we have now, the home printers, it will cost a lot of time. So uh, we were sitting together in our colleague uh, room and we said, okay, let's divide Harlem in pieces and ask the crowd to, uh, to print with us because there are, of course, people now in Harlem uh, who have printers. So uh, we divided in pieces, we did a call, a local call, and we were quite amazed about how many people said, okay, let's collaborate on this project. That was the first step. Because how many people are collaborating? Uh, 40 now, 40. It's, it's still growing because we are still not ready with it. Uh, more or less uh, printing one tile costs three hours. Uh, how many tiles do you need? Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. It's, it's, it's a room of 10 at 6 meters square. So you can imagine... It's a I, lot. Yeah, it's 155,000 inhabitants. Um, it's not a big city in, an, in, in, in the Netherlands, but it's quite a big city. And we're not only printing the center, because this is a part of outside the center, uh, as you see here, an industrial part, uh, to be honest. And uh, so we divided in pieces. Uh, we, we, the, uh, the announcement was, was amazing how many response we got. And now we are printing it, but, and that's the, the thing I'm talking about, is that, and, and that was, well, quite uh, 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 surprised about that people came with all kinds of ideas. And not only the people who were printing, but also people from the uh, municipality, uh, the urban planner, uh, people from the energy company who say, okay, let's put this on a table as a model and put a projector on it, and why not project the future of our city in this model and that we can do co-creation and crowd collaboration, also part of crowdsourcing, of course, and have a crowd discussion. So the politics is really interested in collaborating with the crowd. Yeah, right? and, and the good thing is, and, and from my mind that's quite unique, that normally civ civilians who are living in a city are always a little bit like, okay, you know, a little bit negative about, their, about who is ruling in the city and, and etc. But in this case, it's, it's turning around in a very positive uh, atmosphere because everybody uh, want to be involved and, and some people say hey this this is my building or this is my company and 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 can I sponsor a part in it and uh, it's not a commercial project to be honest it's just a project uh, to get 3d printing more on the map uh, in our environment um, but what's so special is all the energy that's uh, that's coming up now just because of well this this part of our uh, city uh, in a way yeah and how do you think the future of crowdsourcing is going to look like well, it's quite interesting. Um, uh, first, uh, second generation of internet. Eh? First was uh, search, the second was social, uh, third is internet of things. 3D printing uh, will give us an amazing possibility in making the, the, the impossible possible in a way. So uh, the fourth generation, what's it called? Uh, well, the, the, the fourth generation of internet that's coming up, uh, crowdsourcing and, and, and all the crowd uh, things are, are quite interested, uh, part of it. Uh, deep mining that's coming up, uh, uh, things that? like that. Well, deep mining is that, that it's a technology uh, that, that, uh, that machines can be even more intelligent than we as we are as people. And that in combination with everything we got at the moment, it will be spectacular, but also f fear. Uh, I can mention an example of a plaster. It's, it's on the market. A band-aid, you band mean? Yeah, a plaster. Is it a band-aid or a plaster? You, you <laughs> stick it on. And uh, uh, there is a sensor in it. And can you imagine when someone is hacking your plaster when the doctor is not there? It's all coming up. It's all coming up. It's also a little bit fear that uh, those things give me in a way. But back do you to think the, we'll yeah. be able to tackle that kind of problems? Well, uh, what's quite interesting about those days here in Copenhagen, we had a lot of discussion about the social integrity of companies, of course, uh, uh, and people who are 
in those uh, webs uh, uh, ruling those processes. And I think we need a new way of politics uh, uh, and, and a new way of how we collaborate in, in exchanging not only data, uh, because there, uh, we, we talked a lot about data these days and about uh, uh, the crowd and, and bringing people together and, 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 and those things. But uh, everything, you know, is on different places in the world and everything will be combined. Yeah, we call it the Internet of Everything. So everything can talk with everything. And of course, you know, uh, w when you have a not so good intention with it, you can also do, well, not good things with it. And, and I'm not worried about it, but, you know, we need a new set of, uh, of, uh, of rules of maybe. rules together. Yeah, 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 for sure. And working together with politics. And, 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 and be honest and, and I think and, and, and creating a new, a new way of trust, because I also think that uh, there, there will be a, a mental gap later on for people who are not into this, you know, and, and, and when you're not into this, then you are an outcast. And, and I think a lot of people later on, that's the, the normal story that my, 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 my parents or my grandparents could not follow it in a way. But I think that that sequence will be faster, you know, that some people are not interested in it. And, and how, how are those things then working? And there are people talking about robotism and, and new ways of unemployment and all new themes. And I think it's, it's quite interesting, not only in politics, but also in companies, how we are dealing with those things in a way. There is not a set of experience for that. So we need to reinvent ourselves in a way, uh, and not only in all what the technology can bring us, and also the nice part of 3D printing and our city Harlem, but how are we uh, thinking about that? How are we exchange about that? And I think it was quite good here. I, I, I met a lot of people. We had a a lot of nice talks, also in the evening, and, 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 and oh, okay. crowd so sweet. I, 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 I was happy that I was here. Yeah, for sure. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah.